All right, so we have port injection, black market, 350cc fuel injectors on this little thing. Yeah, so this is going to take us to the next level for sure. I look like a news reporter with this mic outfit on. All right, so it shouldn't be too hard of an install. I mean, we did it on Mason's car, and it was kind of easy. I just remember we didn't put the fitting on all the way on his, so it just kind of leaked fuel on the first startup, so that's pretty sick. Ah, god damn, these bitches are hot. We got to take this whole entire manifold off, and I hate to say it, but we don't really do too in-depth how-tos anymore on this channel. It's just not the kind of YouTuber I want to be. So, this is random, but RIP takeoff. That boy had the cleanest mama. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, but genuinely, that's sad as fuck. Middle school days, Migos were the bump for sure in the hallway. All right, I finally got this bitch out of here. It's really hard to see on camera, but as you guys know, there's a really bad problem with N54s having buildup in their intake valves. It's, it's really, really bad. All right, it's the next day. Oh my god. Last night I cleaned this down here as best as possible. It looks like shit. I still need to do walnut blasting like I mentioned earlier. Now the next thing we gotta do is put in these extended studs. So that way the port injection spacer plate will fit on there. All right, so this is all still pre-wired up from Mason's car. Definitely wanna make sure this is pressed all the way down. This fuel line that comes off the rail, we have to tap it into this fuel line right here that comes off the high pressure fuel pump. Now we just gotta use our T and put this bitch in there. Nice. All right, so all the fueling's hooked back up. Now I just gotta slap the manifold back on. As you see, I got the manifold back on there. It's kind of very sleeperish, this port injection kit, because you literally cannot see it under the manifold. Like I said earlier, we went with a split second AIC controller. So, luckily, literally I do wiring for a living, so uh, that was not hard at all. We got this wired up to the ECU, just literally slides down here, it's four wires. It's really easy, honestly. So we have an E50 blend tune, so I gotta run to the gas station with a gas can and fill up out a quarter tank of E85 to put in the car before we can even start it. It's cold! It's corn. All right, so I got seven gallons of E85. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna need. I have about eight gallons in the car, and I looked it up on Google. It says 335s have 16 gallons. This is like a super old fuel can, probably super dirty as well, but fuck it, who really cares? How's it going? Good, how you doing? Good. Uh, I will say it has been quieter in the morning, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I bought that thing. <laughs> Interview on what it's like to be Y Webster's neighbor. Ow. Ow. I don't, I don't. I don't know. Shout out to CD919, always hooking the boys up with tunes. Uh, he sent us a full 93 map and then also an E50 blend. So hit up CD919 on Instagram and just tell him why it sent you. And then he'll hook you all up with a price on tuning for all BMW. So. All right, sweet. So it's only 12 minutes, but I'm not sitting in this car the whole time. Ow. All right, so the tune is done now, as you guys have seen. So Chris said that it literally has two different maps on the same flash. Dude, the BMW jangle. Hold down the cruise control button. Oh, all right. So shut up the two. Looks like I can like, oh, that's so sick. I can flip through maps like that. So that's our 93 map and that's our E50 blend map. Sounds all right. No fuel leaking. Really need to replace this belt. All right, Lord help me. I believe CD bumped us up to 22 pounds of boost. I get the bands, count the blue cheese, I do that shit for fun. Peace. 